Okay, I thought I'd share with everybody uh, one of my secret digging spots. It's up on a hill. Then the hill slopes down. And I start digging right at the base of the slope. And if you'll see, there's different stratas of dirt, different colors. And that indicates the different layers over the last century and a half of how people had dumped stuff in this area. And what I do is I dig all the way down to what's called the pan layer. Let's see if I can get in here. And you'll notice the, the coloration difference between the soil. That is the actual bottom of the dump. And then you'll see different colorations where they probably maybe burn trash or threw a gravel over it. And then, what I do, I start looking, and, yeah, what we got here? Eh, another broken one. It happens. For every broken one I pull out, for every, well, should I say, for every nice one I pull out, I pull out dozens upon dozens of these. And so that's how I'll start. And I'll just work the dump like this, like I have them. Just along the edge, ditch down to the very bottom layer, it's about six feet, and then I will start digging that way, slowly, through all these layers. See right here, you can't really see it from where the camera's at, but see how deep I went into the cliff. And I see little shards of glass here and there, so I know in this area there's probably some cool bottles. And I'm right down in here doing uh, just some picking around and clean it up, and then I'll start actually digging the bottle. I'm just moving dirt right now. That would have been interesting, I guess. That's kind of ornate. I don't know what it is. It's like a, kind of a sherbet. The bottom of a sherbet.
Okay. Now I'll start flicking through this and start looking for bottles. Ugh. Not bad for a 66 year old. I think I got my first bottle. Uh, see what it is. Well, sadly it's cracked, but it's either a glue bottle from the turn of the century, or maybe even an ink bottle. It does have some writing on it. Let's see if I can read it. It just says, it just says one and one ounce. And I don't see anything on the bottom. So that's kind of what, that's a good sign that that deep, you know, this is very early 1900s. So it being that deep, hopefully I'll find some cool bottles. Something with some color in it. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty deep down now to the layer that I want to be in. And I've got something down here. I'm going to dig it. I'm going to actually try to do the live dig. I see all the guys do it online. And I'm just going to give it an attempt. Okay. You can see where I'm at. See that? And it's got writing on it. And that bottle hasn't seen the light of day in over a hundred some odd years. There's some other glass in here too, so I'm definitely in a good place. So let's see if I can dig it out without breaking it, or it might even be broken, I don't know. That's the fun of the hunt. Let me see if I can pop it out. The ground is really Brick on top of it. Yeah, let me try to put this. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna give the old college try. Try to undermine it without breaking it. It's hard. Okay, what is it? It says... Fragrant Lotion. And it says... Frostilla. And that's a cork bottle. And it's out of let's see what does it say Elmira New York that's pretty cool I'll take it that was hard to do